What's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. We have a Toyota FJ I believe. Let's see, what is that? Uh, 2008 Toyota FJ Cruiser. And the problem he's having is he was driving and he said that when he was driving at like 15, 20 miles an hour, the whole front would shake and bounce around. He thought he broke a shock or a strut or something. Um, but when I checked, it was the tie rod end that had come, uh, it came apart on the passenger side. Uh, so what I did was I had him turn the wheel to the driver's side so I could straighten out the tie rod end to the rack and pinion end. And then I had him turn it back towards the passenger side once I had it straight. And then I put it back together. Um, but it was like super stripped so I had him hold the wheel all the way to the passenger side to put pressure while I turned it and I got a couple of threads in just enough to get it out of the driveway and to the wrecker so we're gonna tow it to the dealer now so that they can take care of that problem for him <clears throat> So I gotta tow it from the front, um, so we'll put it on dollies. Bang the camera, just gotta make sure I'm in frame. Oh. Alright, still in frame. Okay. So it looks good there. It's only I gotta be careful with this camera. I keep banging myself. Well, banging the camera, not myself. to leave them sticking out too much especially out here try to keep them as short as possible yeah that even better
when working with dollies, always pull the bar. Never push it, because if you push it and it slips, it's coming right back at you. I gotta change that other side. The rubber broke on it. Nice and cool this morning and this humidity just kicked right in. It's disgusting. Well, the customer said he was driving and that it started feeling like a, a rabbit jumping up and down. So that's what made him think it was a shock or a strut. But it wasn't either. So the tie rod, if some of you don't know what it does, is it's connected to your rack and pinion, which is all connected to you know, your steering wheel, when you're turning, that's what turns the wheels left and right. So, I'm having to get this job. Is it crooked, twisted? Twisted. So when you're turning left and right, that's what controls the wheel to turn. And his tripped right out. So while he was driving on the road, the wheel was basically, you know, doesn't know which direction to go and it's like going left right left right left right which is what was causing all that crazy vibration and jumping around I gotta change these hooks all right let me put the light on and then I'll show you what the problem was how to close the windows and everything too These lights are the best. I haven't charged this light in forever. Uh, 
that has a crack in it and water's getting in. I'll have to take care of that. But this light from Bear Motion, it's been dropped a couple of times. But the light is a really good light and I haven't charged in months. And uh, it's still like fully charged, which is incredible. All right, so let me show you what happened here. All right, so here's the tie rod. And when you turn the steering wheel, this rod here is connected to the rack of pinion, which is in there, you can't see it. So when you turn to the passenger side, this goes out, which is connected to this, and it has, you know, a connection here that allows it to move and turn as it's going out. So this part here had come out from this part. When I got here, this was dangling down and that was out. So that's why he had no steering. So I moved the nut, the security nut, I moved it all the way back, had him hold the wheel to the passenger side and well first he went to the driver's side so i could straighten this out line it up had him put it to the passenger side so that this could fit in here and line up and as he did that i was holding the wheel with my leg and then i had him hold it all the way to the side with pressure while i put a wrench here and turned it so that it can grab whatever threads that it could grab um but this piece here is probably like this far in right now so i only got a few threads in it but it was just enough to get it out of the driveway so i could hook it up so I recommended to him to change both sides. You know, don't don't ever change just one. Change them both, because then next thing you know, you know, he'll have the issue on the other side. Um, but yeah, I'm loaded up. I'm gonna take my pictures, close the window, and take it to the dealership. And I'll see you at the drop. All right, we are at the dealer. I'm gonna drop this, head back to the shop. First things first, let's grab the lights, so we don't forget that. Slow down there, guy. Gotta be careful here, because these guys at the dealership like to go 100 miles an hour around the freaking turn. I was dropping there, but because it could run and drive and move, I figured let me park here because these guys were coming around here trying to zip around the truck. And they really need to slow it the hell down.
Seite. First time doing that, seeing somebody do it. Which is another reason why I don't like it in the dish dollies too much. So you see how I just kicked it and then this side fell down and that side fell down. Now imagine going down the highway and the cam lock coming apart and that happening. Versus Collins dollies has two locks. The safety lock, the safety uh, ratcheting system lock and the regular lock. Which I've had, I gotta find the picture, but I've had a uh, set in the ditch dollies where that happened to me. Um, it didn't drop on me while I was driving, but the, the cam lock came apart. And when I got to where I was going, luckily it didn't come apart. Uh, like luckily it didn't drop. But the cam lock was gone. When you're working with dollies, if you push the button in and twist it, you can slide it all the way past the holes. And the same thing if you're extending them, you can do the same thing. Instead of pushing it, you know, button, one button at a time, you just push the button, twist it, and slide it as far out or all the way close. I see a lot of people that do that. They like push it one button at a time. Humidity sucks. I'm gonna get back in the truck. So push the button in, push it down, twist, all the way. in the spot.
It's got somewhere to put it in that spot where the cone is. Matter of fact, I'm gonna move it over there. So I'm gonna move the other cone, park it over there, so that if another tow truck comes in, he can just park right there and not have to worry. So when I drop at places, I always like to ask where they want it. Um, and also when I drop at places, I try to be considerate for other tow truck operators that are coming in with cars that actually don't run and drive or can't move or whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I try to be considerate for other people. Like I had a guy yesterday when I dropped at his shop, he said, you know, thank you for, thank you for asking me where I want it. He said, I can't tell you how many guys come in here and they just drop a car off right in the middle and leave it there and it doesn't run, can't get into neutral and all that other stuff. Um, so he was saying, you know, thank you uh, for asking, which I always do that. I, I always ask, like it should be the number one thing you do when you're dropping a vehicle off. You ask them like, hey, you know, this car doesn't run and drive, where would you like it? Don't ever just show up to somebody's shop and just drop a car and leave it right in the middle, you know, because chances are you do that and then they can't move the car and now they're stuck with it there and they can't move it it doesn't go into neutral doesn't run you know all types of different things and it kind of sucks for that shop owner now because you know he's blocked so anyway with that being said I am done I put it in the spot here I'm gonna take my photos and get back in the truck well go drop up the key to them and take my photos, give the key to the uh, advisor, whatever over there. Send the picture to the customer, let him know that his car got here so he knows it's here. And head back to the shop. So, as always, guys, thank you for hanging out. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Click on that uh, subscribe button and that notification bell. You'll get notified every time I upload videos. See you in the next one.